WVOA 23's Lacey Beasley joins us with those details. Lynn, that school system is Pickens County and they've decided to move two schools to online learning. Here's how it's affecting the community and the school district. COVID-19 is continuing to take a toll on many schools in Alabama. Starting today, two schools in the Pickens County school system are going online for the next two weeks. We had to get moving pretty quick and uh, make some decisions and just due to the lack of uh, substitute staffing, uh, in support areas, we had to make a decision to go to remote learning and that started effective today for Gordo Elementary and Gordo High School. Chapman wants to clarify there is not a student surge in cases. I think we only have two positive student cases at this time from last week until now. So it's not a student outbreak in Gordo. This is a support staff issue and without key essential support staff, it's hard to have school. One of the anticipated difficulties of going online will be spotty internet connections. We fully know that the internet connectivity outside of the school setting is going to be a problem for some of our kids and even with the vouchers from the state and even with the uh, system purchased hotspots, we're still going to have some issues, but we're going to work with those students and those parents. Even with the predicted issues, parents are thankful for how the community is stepping up. I think it's impressive how this community has managed to get Chromebooks to the students. Despite going virtual, the schools are still passionate about providing meals for their students. Faculty and staff began at 5 a.m. unloading two trucks full of 900 meals to give to parents today. Poverty is colorblind, and we live in a county where we've got a high poverty rate. So feeding our kids is an essential part of of their whole child of our whole child development in this county you know hungry kids don't learn uh, malnourished kids don't learn and we know that so we've we've done all we could to get meals out during the summer and we're going to continue this process and parents especially are happy to have the help they enjoy the, the little treats in there and um, it's, it's very balanced so it um, takes a lot of the pressure off of me of you know, what are they going to be eating while I'm um, at work? On Friday, parents can pick up meals from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the following week. Students are expected to return to in-person classes on November 9th. Live in the studio, Lacey Beasley, WVUA 23 News.